Well, it's like they say, if the bone ain't showing, keep on going. I usually fall six times every 100 and I've already got four out of the way. There's Lori. And Lori, this is her first time, so we're just going to try and help her through this a little bit, yeah. right? Going yeah. for number 10? Number 10. You know, I'm not that good of a runner going uphill. And as you can tell, I'm not too good on technical trail. But on a downhill, I'm going to school you. All right, 37, and it fall. Thirty-eight. I'm starting to hurt taking those falls. Right more than anything else. Emptied my water bottles, put me behind on hydration, knees a little sore. This is where you suck it up. Just passed a group and they're kind of looking at me in horror. I guess I must not look very good. Or maybe they're just stunned by the ultra beard. That's it. I think that's it. This is Derek from New Orleans. What's up? And. You just told me you're what? A dumbass. A dumbass. So he comes from below sea level up to above 10,000 feet. What were you thinking, man? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously I wasn't. Here we go, Derek. Yeah. Prettiest section on the trail. You and I, we're just gonna make it look prettier. All right, Joe, tell me the truth. How do we really look? Hey, we're looking good. I mean, I've had bloodier things than that just walking down the street, Eric. <laughs> so hang in there. We'll see you on the flip. All right. Good deal. Still a little dehydrated. Ribs a little sore. Knees a little sore. Elbows a little sore. What feels good? I'll get back to you on that. Quite frankly, this is a little ridiculous. Jesus. Now we gotta find a shallow spot. Oh, I fell here last year. Look at that, I didn't fall. 
in one place and the whole course I didn't fall. Time to suck it up, buttercup. Car. He and I were like that. I mean, we're we're Facebook friends. It's uh, awfully pretty, but uh, I have been working very hard to embrace the suck, and I'm not having a lot of luck so far. Yeah. How many llamas good. do you have up here? You got 30. 30 llamas. 30 llamas. All right. Yeah. How many llama corns do you have? Lama what? All right, here we go. This may be one of the toughest climbs I've ever made. I feel awful. All right, made it up. That completely sucked, but we're here and we're going to try and nail the downhill. Because look at that, this leg looks fairly decent. This one beat all the hell. Did you have that brake checked out? No, I haven't. I, there's nothing I can do about it, so, and the face. So I should have put more Coca Pellis on, that's all there is to that. This is Chaser Dan back here, and Dan is mad at me because I didn't take his advice on staying vertical. As a result, he would not let me quit at no, Winfield. There's no quitting. And no. I think he is scars. the biggest son of a b And I can't even say what I'm thinking of Susan right now, who is in cahoots with him. Yes. We talked about it. So I wanted to quit. And this is my nemesis. This is the demon. This is the demon that must be slayed. You love this. You know it. You're ready for it. The 
The searcher does not know what is out there. The searcher does not know how the mountain will be climbed. The searcher does not know how to survive. The searcher knows only that kinetic joy of moving forward into the unknown. That joy greatly outweighs the pain of sleeping through life. Hours into the journey to the mountain, the searcher is tired and thirsty. The feet are hot and the back is sore. There is doubt. There are those small, vicious voices that nag and promise to forgive all, if only we can turn back now. But the die is cast, and there is only one way out. There is only one way through. That way is forward. Forward into the unknown heights of perilous adventure. The great trial not yet beginning, not yet known, the searcher is filled with joy. The joy cascades through the body. It is the joy of freedom. The joy of tossing away constraints and assumptions. The joy of throwing all caution to the wind and swaggering like a fool into a fight with an adversary bigger and meaner than oneself. The joy of passion and the joy of the fight, to give oneself fully, truly fully in a worthy fight, that is to know joy. Good job, buddy. You too, man. Pulled me up the mountain. Well, or pushed me. <laughs> pushed you. Well, those two. <laughs> Good we made job. It up here. I did not expect to come back up here again. Yep. Why do you need one? <laughs> Yeah. Mud bill. Holy cow, look at that up there. Man. Yeah. Good job guys. Ah glad to be done with that. This this is the fun part of the race. It's a lot better than it was last time you were here, buddy. <laughs> yes it is. Yeah, baby. I call this. Got all the way up. Those things got a lot better after that. Look who came to visit me. <laughs> Wendy. Mr. Cheeseburger. All right. Okay. Just had a really good section. Unbelievable. It's like Phoenix rising from the ashes. I can't believe how bad I felt going up Hope Pass and how good I felt in the past, I don't know, 10 miles or so. Because of this guy right here. Yeah. yeah that and a downhill. <laughs> <laughs> the downhill's good. Sometimes in the middle of the woods, you find really nice people, really nice stuff and really nice music to keep you pumped up and to get you going. Susan's responsibility for the final 24 miles is going to be to keep him vertical. You guys have done great. You've done great, Dan. We're a team. Yep. Even though I didn't Katie? want to be on your team in Winfield, I was ready to trade you. So we just made it down. What do you think, Eric? I think we might make it. Yeah. I think I've been very fortunate. <laughs> you know, I learned a good lesson today. <laughs> that you're better than you think you are. You can do more than you think you can. No you doubt. Let the 
you know total yeah. chip yeah. should have nicked him? Compared to what you thought when you saw him at Winfield.